Hello. Well, uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about uh, some movies I got in the past few months, um, some Blu-rays. Uh, I didn't talk about them before now because, um, well, one I got uh, just before I started to make the uh, uh, horror videos for October, and so uh, I thought I'd hold one off for uh, uh, this month to talk about, and then uh, I got another movie uh, that I think uh, would also be interesting to talk about. Um, um, yeah, uh, the first film I got is um, The Elephant Man. Um, story about Joseph Merrick who was deformed uh, had growths and is a very interesting man to read about as well as to watch um, of course in the film his name is John Merrick but that came from the fact that uh, his doctor Frederick Treves um, uh, wrote like on his death certificate and because he did his autopsy because he was like a a friend and it is uh, like a doctor who uh, met him and everything. he uh, wrote John Merrick and yet when you can find uh, various papers uh, but uh, Merrick himself would sign uh, his name as it was always Joseph Merrick um, people don't know why he said uh, he wrote John Maybe it was a nickname, uh, or he liked uh, that name, or maybe it was for something else. Maybe it was for another reason. Um, but uh, this is an incredible film. It's a David Lynch film. Um, if you've never seen a David Lynch film, I think this would be a very good uh, film to start with. Um, uh, it's his second film of his career, and... David Lynch is somebody who makes films that would be, that could be seen as odd or strange, to say the very least. Um, and so, you know, from that, uh, uh, some people may be completely turned off by his films due to how odd or abstract or uh, just weird, strange uh, goings on that happened in his in his work. So as a result, you know this. Um, I think this film will be good. Uh, it's a fantastic film, fantastic story. Um, John Hurt uh, delivers an incredible performance as John Merrick. Anthony Hopkins is incredible as um, Frederick Treves. Um, and this is just a great film. Um, I know there are other releases of this film on Blu-ray, and I was looking at some of them, and there are many with like special features. A good number of the fantastic special features that seemed real interesting uh, weren't really included on any American like, DVD release or uh, or Blu-ray even, and so it looked like. Uh, British releases of the film uh, had incredible, you know, versions, great, you know, picture and sound quality and great special features if people are really interested in that sort of thing. I am. And, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, the Criterion Collection uh, was able to release this for its 40th anniversary. Uh, came out this year. Um, 40 years old, and it's still an incredible film. Uh, this is actually the first film I watched on uh, the Criterion channel when I first um, got it. Uh, and this was not in the Criterion collection yet, so... Uh, um, yeah, that was just a cool film to watch. Uh, it was very emotional. Uh, I forgot just how emotional it was. Um, I really love it. I think this is a great film. Um, 
Yeah. And incredible all the way around. Um, and for the other film, I got... Um, El Camino, the Breaking Bad film. Now, I have already talked about this movie, but um, I may talk about it again sometime in the future. Um, I've been thinking about possibly doing some sort of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul video or videos after Better, Better Call Saul ends and after the last season is on Blu-ray and I'm able to rewatch. Uh, Breaking Bad from beginning to end, Better Call Saul from beginning to end, and this would be a good place to, you know, you know watch after Breaking Bad. Um, there are things um, regarding Better Call Saul that take place in the future, like after Breaking Bad, and this clearly does take place after Breaking Bad also, but um, this is sort of more of, like, uh, in addition to some flashbacks the film has, it also is like, like right after Breaking Bad ends, you know, because this is Jesse's story. This is uh, an epilogue to the series as a whole. Um, yeah, and I, yeah, I remember watching this. I watched this on the big screen because it was released um, uh, for a whole weekend uh, where I live in a theater. And I watched it, and there was actually a good number of people who came and saw the film, and I saw it as an a very appropriate ending to Jesse's story. It was really cool to see how that concluded. Um, I know there are people who aren't too fond of this film, um, but uh, seeing this as uh, yeah, seeing this as just an epilogue and wrapping up Jesse's story. I have no problem with this. Um, I I really enjoy this film. I think it's incredible. It's a great companion piece. Um, there are some problems people have with it, but some of those are like, well, end of time has gone on, and so some people won't look exactly how they did when the show ended. Um, you know, aging does happen. And some people gain weight, gain some weight. Um, uh, uh, one actor in particular, he gained weight for some roles that he needed to gain some weight for, and as a result, he has, you know, uh, lost the weight. And so that's quite obvious, an obvious difference from uh, his appearance from Breaking Bad and then uh, in this film. But even then, that doesn't really, uh, for me, doesn't take me out of the film. Uh, uh, it's still uh, fantastic and uh, great, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah. This is just a fantastic film. I, uh, I enjoyed rewatching it. Um, obviously, I can re could rewatch it anytime on Netflix. Um, but uh, this was just a fun film to watch, and the special features that are on here, like the deleted scenes um, and the making of, um, uh, and just various other extras. Um, this is a very well uh, put together set, and. Uh, and this is a limited edition Blu-ray DVD. Um, I don't know if that means that the, they will only have this uh, Blu-ray DVD for like a limited time, or uh, if the you know the, maybe in terms of the steel book, it's a limited edition. Like they could have another Blu-ray sometime later. Just you know a normal. Blu-ray, uh, but yeah, I heard this film was uh, coming out, and I thought I might as well get it. It's like around the one-year anniversary of the film, and uh, yeah, I still enjoy it, and I'll probably uh, 
enjoy it even more. I have a Breaking Bad Better Call Saul marathon once Better Call Saul is completely uh, finished. Able to watch this journey from beginning to end. Um, so I love Breaking Bad and I love uh, and I love this show and this film and Better Call Saul also. It's a great universe. Um, and so yeah, th those are it. That those are the films that I I got. Um, obviously, because I got um, uh, the Elephant Man uh, at the end of September. I didn't make. I didn't have enough time to make a video um, uh, for uh, that film on its own, but uh, yeah, I got this one also. I thought I might just make a little video, you know. Perhaps sometime by the end of this year, I will make a full video on the Elephant Man, and maybe another film. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll have another film of the same year but uh yeah so the, the, that, that was it the, these are the uh, two films i got uh i enjoy them i think they're both excellent um not just in terms of films but just excellent in terms of quality and what um <clears throat> is included with them so yeah, I, I, I really enjoy these films. Uh, my Criterion Collection just keeps keeps getting a little bit bigger every so often, and uh, yeah, I may never get every single Criterion uh, film, like every film they've released. There are some films uh, they've released that I know for a fact I'm not fond of, and you know it'd be sort of a waste of money to buy a movie. I might watch once or twice uh, that I know I don't like that I've actually seen a few times before uh, so that's why I say I don't like some of the films and I don't want to get into which movies I don't like because well that could cause a big discussion and uh, yeah people like what they like and uh yeah i'm just not f uh, fond of every single movie criterion has released um uh but i'm sure that's for most people too uh, uh some people probably should not just buy movies just to have every single movie in a certain like like a collection like the criterion collection if you don't if you know for a fact you don't like a certain film and you've seen it multiple times, don't buy every single movie they've ever made just to have the entire collection. It's, I think in a way that would be kind of a, a bit of a waste of money, uh, especially if you probably know you will not watch the, that movie multiple times. I think the point of owning films like Blu-rays or DVDs is because you not only enjoy those movies, but you're going to watch them over and over you know, many times, and, um, yeah, uh, I, I buy films I really like, such as, uh, The Elephant Man and El Camino, and, uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say, um, uh, so, uh, until next time, have a great day, have a great weekend, have a great week, and I'll see you all next time.